What's up you guys, Boris Borden of Bergen County Short Sale Realtor. And I just wanted to put this video out there to address a couple topics. How to price your short sale appropriately and how to effectively communicate with your bank. Because uh, what I'm seeing taking place in the market to a, lot of ex to a certain extent is a lot of people are pricing their homes like 50% of what market value is, thinking they're gonna get a flood of interest. Well, certainly you're gonna get a flood of interest, but you're not doing a service to the sellers. You are doing a disservice to your sellers because you're wasting time. Our jobs as, real, as short sale realtors is to decrease the likelihood of our sellers going into foreclosure. What's gonna take place is you're gonna tie up the place into contract several months, and by the time you have the short sale approval take place, they're gonna counter at closer to what market value is and then your short sale, your your purchaser is going to back out, and you've in effect wasted several months of the seller's precious time, increasing the likelihood of the seller going into foreclosure. You need to list the price at market value, or, or like the lower spectrum of what market value is, but nevertheless within the range of what a reasonable market value expectation would be. Next, I'm going to discuss effectively communicating with the banks. Uh, we all know that the banks are too too large for their own good. And the left hand does not know what the right hand is doing. They aren't communicating with each other within the different departments within the banks. So you might have a short sale approved. Meanwhile, you might have a an auction date being scheduled. You need to com you need to communicate with the loss mitigation department to make them aware you have a short sale in the works, because you may be weeks away from closing on your short sale. Meanwhile, you're blindsided with an auction date that's scheduled. So effectively communicate with the banks, make certain you reach out to the loss mitigation department so they are aware that a short sale is in the works.